sorry if you guys see these like dead lights here my cousin literally hung all these lights up and then like these ones just don't work mysteriously just don't work yeah. hey guys it's angie rush here and i'm here with another story time i guess fridays for the next couple of weeks are gonna be story times i guess i don't know i have been wanting to tell this story for a long time but I just didn't know how to tell you guys. I didn't know how to title it was the main thing, so I it just kept putting off when I'm gonna tell this story. But I think I know how I'm gonna title it now, but this is basically a story time of how a YouTuber ruined Tinder for me. <laughs> Pause. If you guys haven't yet already, go down there and hit that subscribe button and give me a like and leave some comments of some video ideas you'd like to see. New videos every Monday, Friday, and your girl through in Wednesday for this month and I'm going to try to continue it for the next couple months. I told y'all 2019 I was going to be consistent and here we are. I've, I, I'm, I've been doing that. <laughs> So, I should give you a background first of me downloading a Tinder. I told myself I will never download Tinder. Every time people got it, I was like, ew, don't use Tinder, it's nasty, it's just a hookup app, blah blah blah. I just thought it was just, Tinder just wasn't for me and it's still not for me, to say the least. So my friend, this was like last year, last year she had recently just got out of a relationship and she wanted to find boys to just talk to and just get out there more she wasn't that social so and she didn't have a lot of time and places to meet people so she resulted to tinder and me and her were always like ew and she's like i'm just gonna try it so she got tinder and she ended up really liking it she talked to so many different guys ended up meeting her boyfriend that she has now on there which is really cool and like the relationship she got out of was super toxic so i was like just so happy for her just getting out there in general just like moving on from this mess of a situation that's been going on for years so she as a friend told me you should totally download tinder blah 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 telling me all these great things and i was like one i don't i'm not into like white guys so that was the one reason why i just didn't want tinder i thought everyone on there was white from like my town that i lived in in canada everyone was white there anyway so i was like this is just gonna lead me to more white guys that i don't want and she was like no i found a couple like black guys and ethnic guys on there like it's not just white guys you really should try it you can talk to so many different boys blah blah blah, blah. so i was bored <laughs> And uh, long story short, I downloaded Tinder. It was so annoying. The reason why I hate Tinder is one, I see it as a hookup app by friends who just literally go on there to hook up and I'm not that type of girl. And two, I feel like I get treated like an object. Like I just felt gross. And I will say that with this one person. But I downloaded Tinder and I was using it for a bit and I was talking to people and I was like, okay, this is kind of fun. She's like, it's so fun just talking to new people. And I was like, yeah, it's okay. Like it's not as bad as I thought it was, was and how bad I was making it seem. This one guy I came in contact with, we connect, what is it? What is it? Connected? What is it? Matched. <laughs> we matched on Tinder together. He hit me up. This was a YouTuber, by the way. He's a YouTuber that does like public interviews and like those fake like oh my gosh i'm telling my friend i like her prank or like those fake like dirty truth or dares like that's the type of youtuber he is just to kind of give you guys an idea of what type of youtuber he is he's black he's not a popular youtuber so don't even go down there and drop your comments like it's um this man it's this no like you don't know who he is trust me like he's not popping or anything like that and I'd be shocked if you knew who he was anyway. So my thing with Tinder is I knew I was never gonna meet up with anybody because if you guys know, I'm the most shyest, awkwardest girl, especially on dates. I hate dates, I hate first dates. I think I talked about this on my channel before, but I don't do dates. I'm just like very awkward and shy. That's the one thing about it too. I was like, with talking to people online, like there's no point because it's not gonna go anywhere anyway because like I avoid these first dates that people try to take me on. I don't know what your intentions are and all that. Like I won't go on a first date typically with a guy unless we've talked for like a long ass time. So basically, the conversation started out normal. He just said, hey, sup? I said, hey, nothing much, blah, 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 blah. So I know you guys aren't expecting me to jump on here, but it's 4 a.m. right now. I'm editing this video that you guys are watching, but I'm literally like reading all these messages and it's just like 
not making sense so I'm just going to summarize it for you which I should have done in the video but basically in the beginning we exchanged messages with each other it started off normal hey how are you I'm good how are you how are you this and that like and then he was like asking what I want what I'm looking for on tinder and I'm like I don't really know like what I'm looking for but my friends just convinced me to get this app and he's like are you into hook are you a relationship girl or a hookup girl and I'm like definitely relationship girl I don't do hookups even though relationships scare me and he's like me too Basically, he was pushing for friends with benefits, and I didn't want that. We talked, not really, like, we just talked that one time. And then another time, he asked for my Instagram. We just exchanged Instagrams, and then that was kind of the only day we talked until this. So I just summarized it for you because I don't know why I read this whole text thread that wasn't even interesting and was totally irrelevant to the rest of the story, but you guys do need a little background info anyway he asked my instagram i gave him my instagram and then he was being weird i think is this the next day he messaged me and he's like whenever i see i'm gonna bite you on god i'm like what does that mean he's like you looking like a snack i'm like don't kill me he's like it's true though i'm like well thank you <laughs> 10 days later my friend hits me up every year we have an amusement park in my city i think like every city has one like every summer every year for like a week or something you have an amusement park a fair a carnival something going on in your city that's like around those lines i think every city has it is that true correct me if i'm wrong and she was like she called me and she was like oh my gosh let's go tonight like i really want it was so short notice but who was it ice cube was performing and she was like let's go this and that and i was like bro i'm down to see ice cube I'm gonna get ready, I'll pick you up after work. And she was like, okay, bet. So I got ready, I looked cute as hell, I can confirm that. So I had this cute yellow dress on, and like I go pick up my friend, we find parking for $10, which is a good deal, and we're like, okay, lit, let's go. So we go in, and we're just basically just riding the carnival. I love fairs, carnivals, ride, fair, like carnival food, all of it. I love it. Like there, it's like my favorite place to be. I love it, love it, love it. Well, we go get food and we're just walking around and guess who I see? <laughs> Tinder boy. That's what we're going to call him. <gasps> see Tinder boy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, because nobody knows I'm on Tinder. My friend is, that I went to the carnival with does not know I'm on Tinder. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. So I'm like, I hope he doesn't notice me. Like, you know, like low-key wishing I'm a catfish in my pictures, so it's like, hope he doesn't notice me. We make eye contact, and he's like, and I'm like, bro, and he's like, I'm sorry. and I'm like, first of all, that's not cute to me. Like, don't holler at me, like, with your group of guy friends, like, it's not cute. I keep walking, and then he goes, I'm sorry, come here. and I'm like, embarrassed, awkward as hell, and I'm like, huh? And me and my friend just keep walking and she's like, what the fuck, that guy's talking to you? Like, what the fuck, this and that, like, he's weird as hell. Yeah, that night, later that night, at 3.30 a.m., so I guess that morning, he texts me, and while I'm reading these, I'm gonna put the conversations on the screen. He's like, yo, you shy as fuck. And I'm like, told you. And he's like, why though? I'm like, I don't know, that's just how I am, lol. He's like, sheesh, that's fucked. I'm like, how so, lol. He's like, cuz yo. Like, I tried talking to you and shit, but you just walked away like that. And I'm like, you were with a huge group of people, lol, and just said, hey, shoddy, come here. And he's like, nah, I said, yo, what's good? I'm so over it. <laughs> and then he's like, when you link, when you linking me still? And I'm like, no, lol, you said, hey, shoddy, come here. So my friend's like, why is this man calling you shoddy, lol? And he's like, ain't nothing wrong with that still, lol. I'm like, you really thought I was going to come to you and your group of friends, lol? He's like, lol, I, I, when you trying to link then? I'm like, uh-huh, I'm not sure. And he's like, how come, lol? I'm like, I don't know, lol, just not sure. Isn't that a sign that I don't want to um, see you? Okay. And he puts a roll eyes emojis. I'm like, what do you want me to say, lol? He's like, if you down or not, lol. I'm like, yeah, I am. By the way, guys, I'm really bad at rejecting people because I hate being rejected. So like, I don't like making people feel that way. So like, I don't, I don't know how to reject people. So I always just tell people, yeah, maybe, yeah. And then like, we just don't. Like, that's usually how things roll with me. I, like I said, clearly I'm childish because I'm giving mixed signals and I should just be straight up and blunt. But I don't like, I don't, 
I don't I just don't okay sorry sue me and he's like I'm like yeah I am and he's like I where do you live still south I'm like yeah he's like that's close to me still lol we should be able to link anytime still he's like I can scoop if you want I'm like oh nice and he's like you want me to scoop you and I'm like right now what time was it 1 a.m. and he's like or later on I'm like no lol I'm watching TV then got work tomorrow rolling eyes emoji He's like, are you even DTF? Didn't I tell you when our conversation started that that's not my style? And I'm like, nope. And then he's like, then why are you making, why are you, then why making put in, why are you, why make him put in so much work? I guess, why you make me put in so much work? He's like, I'm dead. I'm like, I'm not making do anything. You're doing all the effort yourself. He's like, you're jokes. Let me know when you want to stop playing games still, madam. I'm like, I don't do hookups, lol. He's like, it won't be hookup if you can make me catch feelings. I'm like, I don't have time for that, lol. But good way to put it, good way of putting it. And he's like, lol, poom poom ain't good, eh? I'm like, I don't give it away to anyone, lol, not the type of girl. And he's like, confidence level low, eh? I'm like, who talks to people like this? Like, <sighs> and I'm like, no, I'd say my confidence level is on Rihanna's level, lol. I just don't like fucking around with randoms and hookups, lol. It's just not my style. I don't know what part of that is confusing you. What does my confidence have to do with me not wanting to have sex with you? And he's like, taking that in, I just realized that you look just like Rihanna too. I'm like, lol, that's a lie. <laughs> um, I look like me, Angel, lol. And then he put laugh faces and I just stopped replying. I followed him on Instagram. I don't know if he still follows me. Basically, that was the YouTuber that ruined Tinder for me. That was just really disgusting to me. He just made me feel like an object. And then t to carry on, like, other people were just gross like that too. And I was just like... This app is just like I knew. This app is just not for me. But I'm not hating on nobody who got Tinder. If you got Tinder, do your thing. If you like hookups, do your thing. If you just... I don't care. I don't judge. It's you and your body. It's you and your stuff. So, like, if Tinder's the way to for you, that's dope. If it's not, girl, join my club. <laughs> But that was literally how it was ruined for me. I knew from the jump I should just follow my instinct and never downloaded it. But just people are disgusting on that app, honestly. And people, like, I had people who were like, oh, what's your Snapchat? And I'm like, oh, cool. Even though my Snapchat first picture I get is their bedingling that I didn't ask for. And I'm like, blocked. That's kind of it from this story time. But that was the time when a YouTuber ruined Tinder for me because he was just disgusting literally disgusting anyway <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching let me know how you think of this video and let me know if you've used tinder i really want to know if you like it if you don't like it why don't you like it why do you like it like let me know be raw and real if you like it because you get sex back to back okay if you don't like it because people are weird girl i feel you <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this friday video <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there but thank you guys so much for watching remember to stay humble don't forget to comment rate and subscribe I love you guys so much remember self love is the best love and it's not goodbye it's see you Monday if I went to heaven they'd embrace me I've been doing well courtesy of all the haters I've been doing well yeah. I've been doing well they asked me how my pockets felt and they were doing swell like, bruh, is this our new generation of hitting and talking on girls? Because if so, I don't want it. <laughs> if you want or are interested in me, you better come correct. Okay?